But where are stories spreading misinformation about black men being fed up with Joe Biden and the Democrats? But where are stories spreading misinformation about black men being fed up with Joe Biden and the Democrats? I saw this article because DL tweeted it out and there were a couple of brothers that I follow in new black media that responded to the tweet. I decided I'm going to make D.L. Hughley a project. Yeah, D.L. Hughley, you are now my personal project, sir. I'm going to make it my job throughout this election cycle to further expose you to everybody who thinks that you are a good actor on behalf of black people. And it's not just because that show you was on called Johnson stole the tagline that I had been using with my community for the last, I don't know, seven, eight years. That's not the only reason why. No, that's part of it. Let's keep it real. I can be petty. But the main reason why is because you're such a sellout. Dale Hughley is a political strategist for the Democratic Party. <laughs> Ain't that right, D.L.? D.L. Hughley is a political strategist for the Democratic Party. I can't prove that D.L. Hughley is being paid, but I can't imagine him doing all the work that he's done for the Democrats over the years for nothing. You think he's just doing it out the kindness of his heart, retweeting political Democratic strategists for free? You think that's what he's doing? Or you think there's a more of a plan? First of all, remember, the Democratic Party are behind the eight ball. They're losing the black vote. Their only chance for winning the White House or retaining the, right, the White House is black vote, black voters. They got this dear Hughley guy running around retweeting articles about what? About misinformation to black men, particularly the demographic that is rejecting the Democratic Party the most. Doing the most to reject the Democratic Party. Then I got dear Hughley, and he kind of told on himself because he can't help but brag. Yeah, I got two videos, two video interviews where he brags about I'm hanging out with Joe Biden. I wonder what y'all talked about. What the fuck do you got to talk to Joe Biden about? You cornball? You sellout? You scumbag? What the fuck do you have in common with Joe Biden? That would what up Biden? What the fuck? What did you? What could you possibly discuss? Except strategy for the Democratic Party. What do you think D.L. Hughley's doing when he's meeting with Joe Biden? Now, the first video he did, the first interview I saw him do, he was with, um, was it Vlad? <laughs> That's right. It wasn't Vlad. It was Don Lemon. That it really made me reconsider whether I could continue to support him. And I had a dinner with him and told him and the vice president the same thing. Uh, and I said, but the problem is I don't live in Gaza. I live in the United States of America. And I'm not going to, as a protest vote make my my children's life harder what did they what was the response if you don't mind sharing um i think initially <laughs> i said what i said and then <laughs> madam vice president went well that's a lot <laughs> he said that's a lot i mean so it was it was it was a lot and then uh we started talking about things we agreed on things we didn't. No, it wasn't Vlad. It was somebody else. He did an interview with somebody where he did this shit. That's the first time I heard him do it. But then when I was going, when I was doing some research, research for tonight's show, and I was looking for a clip that I wanted to use about D.O. Higley, I ran across an interview he did with Willie D. In that Willie D interview, he said, I've had multiple, multiple times I've had dinner. Multiple times I've talked to Joe Biden. I talk to Joe Biden all the time. And, and, and Willie D's like, what? Well, since you talk to him all the time. So I, I talked about voting for Biden, right? Sure. I shared with people that I did vote sure. for Biden. And sure. that, that is because, like millions of other people, I had the mentality of anybody but Trump. Sure. Okay. So I know that you voted, you know, uh, for, well, I think he voted for Biden also. Of course. Right? And, um, and speak to him often. Yeah. Sure. Okay, well. Since you speak to him often, tell that sucker I said. No, nah, I'm just kidding. No, no, but, yeah, uh, yeah. no, no, I ain't got nothing to say to him. But anyway, um, folks, 
I figured it out. D.L. Hughley is a political and democratic political strategist. His job, his job, and I'm sure he's paid handsomely. I'm sure that D.L. Hughley, one of his companies, is somewhere getting paid to do the shit he does. He has to be. He has to be. Dio Higley's not a sellout. I've been wrong all this time. I've been wrong all this time. DL is not a sellout. When DL runs across my content, when people send us him clips and they say, this guy, he won't, he won't stay off your nuts. What's wrong with this guy? Why he keep your name in his mouth? I know he laughs to himself. Sellout? Nigga, they pay me well. Do your job. Try to get Patreons, nigga. Because D.L. Hughley is not a sellout. D.L. Hughley is an employee. He's a consultant. Ain't that right, D.L. Hughley? Yeah, this, this show took a turn for the better. I told you guys, watch the Tim Black show. You don't give some premier content. This is premier content, man. Not a single African-American, not a single black American, not a single black person who is seriously trying to take on the establishment, who are trying to fight for the rights, advocate for the empowerment of black folks to get us off the bottom. We're super glued to the bottom of the American ladder. Super glued. We're so super glued to the, to the, the ladder, to the bottom rung of the ladder, that migrants come in and step over top of us. Migrants come in without a dime to their name saying, don't mess with the blacks. They are the garbage. Then we got progressives going, Sir, why are you keep talking about immigration? But they won't lift a finger to help me fight back against what's happening to black folks in America. They're not interested in changing the facts that we are 14% of the population that own 2% of the wealth. They could care less. And if that number has not gone up, it's gone down from what it was in the, 1900, the early 1900s. They don't care. Because they're not a part of that group of people that that's happened to. So, there's not a single black person of any consciousness, any awareness at all of what's going on that would support the Democratic Party in the form that it's in today. Except those who are paid to do so. If you are a black person in media who has a channel or a show who appears on CNN, who had a talk show, a political talk show, who wrote a book interviewing Barack Obama, who has a radio show, and you have the number of the president where you talk directly to him, if you ain't a political strategist, what are you? What are you? What are you talking about? Your golf string swing? Y'all sharing recipes? Ideas? Nah. No, you're not. No, dear Hughley, you are not. Nobody want to talk to your high school dropout ass, ex-blood ass, ex-tattoos all on your neck and shit. Motherfucker, if you don't speak that well, but for some reason, some goofy black women thought you were interesting, that you were smart, because you say words like zeitgeist. Political acumen. And why you stutter through talking points for the Democratic Party. It's pathetic. And now they're, now they're saying that black folks, black men who are standing up for our families, women, we are standing up for you. We're standing up for you, our kids, ourselves, our communities, and we're saying, we're tired of laying down for the Democratic Party. We're going to reject the Democratic Party unless they give us what we need in order to increase, to rise. Or oh, what's the point of supporting them? What's, su what's the point of supporting them? If they're not helping our businesses grow, if they're not helping our, our families be able to make ends meet, if there are no policies that are directly attached 
to the fundamental aspects of our lives that make our lives better. What good are they? Why should we vote for them? So we're standing up for you. And instead of some of you, some of you, not all of you, there are some of you, there's too many of you who are staying super glued to the Democratic Party. You are the same ones who say, Dear Higley is so articulate. Dear Higley is so smart. You're spot on. He's a Democratic strategist saying talking points. His whole job is to influence you to tell you how great Biden is. Did I hear that Joe Biden's making moves on marijuana legalization? Well, just short of it, because like I told you, anything Biden does that's good, it's never going to be as far as he should go. It's never going to be as far as he could go or as far as he should go. But as far as he, he will go for Negroes, which is not far enough. Now they want to now they want to lie to you and gaslight you and tell you, don't believe your lying eyes. Don't believe your lying partner. Don't believe your lying husband or your lying son or your lying cousin. Black people that tired of Joe Biden. I know they said that at the cookout. I know they said that at the barbershop. I know they said that when they was pumping gas. I know that's what you thought you heard at the gym, but you didn't hear that. You heard Russian bots. <laughs> Diplomatic community. I didn't hear that. That wasn't real black men saying that. Black men don't feel that way. That's BS. Black men love Joe. Black men are just sitting back going, give us more Joe. Any concessions that Joe Biden will give towards the black community will be directly, directly in response to the pressure that people like I have put on his ass. That D.L. Hughley. D.L. Hughley is there so he don't have to do shit. Dumb dumbs. D.L. Hughley. Joy Reid. Or any, anybody kisses the Democratic Party ass. Anybody. And the ones that are too cowardly to go out and call out the Democratic Party. They're not responsible for anything that Joe Biden will do. And I believe he's going to do some stuff. Because he wants to retain power. We are responsible for it. Y'all should thank me. Thank me and thank those like me who had a guts to call out Joe Biden. Because that's the only reason why Joe Biden is going to do shit for black people or working people. And as usual, it takes black people to lead the way because white guys like David Packman, the Majority Report, all these sellouts or whatever. Actually, I don't even know a Majority Report. That just came to me. Maybe majority reports cool. I don't know. I don't watch, so I can't make that judgment. Okay, but I can be certain that people like David Packman and that other guy Tyler Cohen. So let me be specific: Tyler Cohen, Tyler Brian Cohen, Cohen, David Packman types. Anybody in that? In the, and I know black people are like who the hell are you talking about? He's a white guy who has the same politics as Dale Hughley. Don Lemon. Okay. Those people are not responsible for any concessions that Joe Biden will give up to this election. There will be some. And that's the whole purpose of people like myself. Because we push politicians. Politicians ain't going to give you nothing for free. They got people offering them money. They have special interest groups giving them money, giving them campaign donations. And they're going to listen to you? No. Not unless they become afraid of you. And I don't mean physically, there ain't a damn thing none of us could do to the, to the United States military forces. And I'm not even suggesting nothing crazy like that. But what I'm talking about is momentum, publicity, user engagement. We're talking about media. We're talking about using the, the means of communication against him. And those people that are willing to push back against the Democratic apparatus are the only reason why you would get any concessions out of Joe Biden. It's not because of D.L. Hughley. D.L. Hughley's job is to blunt people like me, to stop new black media from having an effect on the masses. 
That's what you guys see. So it ain't just, it ain't personal. You think I didn't like D.L. Hughley and the Kings of Comedy? You think I wasn't a D.L. Hughley supporter or fan who enjoyed his content back then? Of course I did. I went to see them live at Capitals, at the Capitol Center. Him and Bernie Mac. And Cedric. And Steve. I think God Tory opened when I saw him, when they came to D.C. here. So it ain't about that. It's about his politics. And he's the operative who is my enemy. He's operating for the establishment. And anything we're going to get out of the Democratic Party would not be gotten out of the Democratic Party because of people like DL. And if DL had any shred of who he's supposed to be, any moral, sh any, any remnants of the person, the man he professed to be, he would be rooting for me to push back. So he can have somebody pushing for he got somebody pushing. We have people pushing for Joe Biden, if that's what he really believes, and I doubt it. But okay, maybe he does. And he would all he would respect that he has an adversary pushing for the people. Not pushing for myself. I'm pushing for the people. I could be gone any day, but my record will stand. Is somebody fighting for the people until the day the deal he takes off his Democratic political strategist badge and puts on the cloak of black support and supporting the black community, I ain't got nothing to say to him except harsh criticism. And give me props for the name of that show y'all started up there. Johnson. All right, guys, my name is Tim Black. Thanks for tuning into the Tim Black Show. Don't believe them when they tell you it was misinformation that black people are moving away from the Democratic Party. We moved away from the Democratic Party like white people moved out of the inner cities.